When Betty returns, she gives the operator the number on her receipt and deposits the proper amount in the coin slot. The operator again opens the locker by remote control. And there's the garment, cleaned and pressed. America's love affair with vending machines goes back generations, even before that 1940s advertisement. Today, there are about 7 million vending machines in the United States serving us sodas, snacks, and sundries to the tune of nearly $22 billion a year, or quick math, $62 a person. But for sheer mind-numbing variety and volume, Japan is hands down the vending machine capital of the world. Lucy Kraft dug out some spare change for this story. It's hard to overstate Japan's total infatuation with the vending machine. The country has so many, there's one for every 30 people. The blinking lights and friendly glow seem to beckon from every nook and cranny. Banks of vending machines line busy walkways. Super slim versions sprout from lonely corners, making it nearly impossible to escape the pause that refreshes. A low crime rate and a craving for convenience have made Japan a mecca for automated self-service. Junk food is actually harder to find than options like fresh bananas or artisanal soup broth. That's a whole grilled fish right inside the bottle. So you've got the munchies. If you're in Japan, you're in luck. There's a wide variety of treats to choose from, like rhino beetles, scorpions, grasshoppers, and giant water bugs, all full of protein and gluten-free. So I went for the chocolate-covered superworms. That's nasty. At Tokyo's Haneda Airport, the price of a green tea also buys a tea-serving Sprite. A coffee machine that produces latte foam art. Planner Masashi Sakurai said, there are a lot of opinions about this, but Japanese are basically shy. Vending machines are perfect for introverts. There's a tyranny of choice, from plush toys to wood crafting kits to collectibles like trading cards, pop star posters, and cat sushi trinkets. At this Buddhist temple, Good luck amulets, sold as discreetly as sodas. Even higher-end products get the vending machine treatment, like Tiffany perfume and freshwater pearls. Vending machines are now high art. This image by photographer Eiji Ohashi auctioned in London for more than $40,000. Shining there in the snow, the vending machine seemed human to me, he said. Ohashi has amassed 1,000 more photos. After 13 years spent capturing the vending machine in the wild, he said he's only begun to scratch the surface. For CBS This Morning Saturday, Lucy Kraft, Tokyo. That is a great image. Wow. Lucy, thank you for eating the worm. I wouldn't have done it, but thank you. She we said have, nasty. We delivered. Not happening. It's, what is up with the insects? It's FedExing its way in, so oh. next weekend, grasshoppers... Worms and super bug. Was it super water bug? What is the strangest thing you've ever tasted? Uh, I was at a ch Chinese market during the Olympics, uh, what, 12 years ago or so. You are a daring man. A lot man. of uh, odd fried um, <laughs> items. Items. <Yeah. laughs> it was good. I enjoyed it. Scorpion. Good. More. You can cover you it can up. Have enough. all mine. Good stuff. <laughs>